Ray Ranks. Ray Ranks Polish. Sorry, Serigi was a code name for the underground paramilitary Polish scouting association Zwiezek Harsus Wapolskiego during World War Roman II. The wartime organization was created on 27 September 1939, actively resisted and fought German occupation in Warsaw until 18 January 1945, and contributed to the resistance operations of the Polish underground state. Some of its members' gruppy SC thermal assault groups were among the Home Army's best trained troops. Though formally independent, the Grey Ranks worked closely with the government delegation for Poland and Home Army headquarters. The Grey Ranks had their own headquarters known under the cryptonym Pasika B. Yard, staffed by the Chief Scout of Grey Ranks plus three to five deputies in the rank of Harkmistis Scoutmaster. Overview. Who overview 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 since its organization in 1916 scouts within the Polish Scouting and Guiding Association Zwiezek Harsers for Polskiego, CHP had taken an active part in all the conflicts Poland was engaged in around this time, Great Poland Uprising, Polish Bolshevik War, Silesian Uprisings, and the Polish Ukrainian War. After the German invasion of Poland in 1939, the Nazis recognized the ZHB as a threat. Polish scouts and guides were branded as criminals and banned. Under the leadership of Florian Marciniak, the ZHB carried on as a clandestine organization. The wartime scouts evolved into the paramilitary Sare Seregi Grey ranks, reporting up through the Polish underground state and the army of Krajauer resistance. The code name Sare Seregi was adopted in 1940. It was first used by underground scouting in Poznan. The name was coined after an early action of the Polish Scouting Association, in which Boy Scouts distributed propaganda leaflets among Germans from Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia who had settled in the homes of Poles expelled to the general government. To create confusion, the leaflets had been signed SS later expanded to Sare Seregi, a name that came to be adopted by the entire organization. Older scouts carried out sabotage, armed resistance, and assassinations. The girl guides formed auxiliary units working as nurses, liaisons, and munition carriers. Younger scouts were involved in so-called minor sabotage under the auspice of the Wauer organization, which included dropping leaflets or painting the Katwika sign on the walls. During Operation Tempest, and especially during the Warsaw Uprising, the scouts participated in the fighting, and several Sare Seregi units were some of the most effective in combat. The Grey Ranks also included the White Couriers, who between late fall 1939 and mid minus 1940 helped smuggle many persons out of Soviet-occupied southeastern Poland into Hungary. In 1940, the Soviet Union executed most of the Boy Scouts held at Ostershkov prison. In 1945, the ZHB restored its former name and returned to public existence. However, the communist authorities of Poland pressured the organization to become a member of the pioneer movement, and eventually it was banned in 1949. The only existing part of pre-war ZHB during the years of the communist regime was the ZHB PGK ZHB abroad, consisting of Polish scouts from USA, UK, Canada, Australia, Argentina, France, and Sweden. Principles The Grey Ranks followed the pro-war principles of the Polish Scouting Association, service to the people and country, and education and improvement of their skills. In addition to the pro-war oath, the following line was added, I pledge to you that I shall serve with the Grey Ranks safeguard the secrets of the organization, obey orders and not hesitate, to sacrifice my life. In addition to the scouting moral code, the Grey Ranks also followed a basic three-step path of action. The program was nicknamed Jesus, Jutro Pajitas, Today, Tomorrow, The Day After. Today, struggle for Poland's independence. Tomorrow, prepare for an all-national uprising in the liberation of Poland. The day after prepare to rebuild Poland after the war. Structure The Grey Ranks structure was based on the pro-war structure of the Polish Scouting Association, 
modified to suit the new circumstances of occupation and repression. The basic unit was the troop Drazina, comprising some twenty boys or girls. Each troop was composed of several squads Zastepi, each Zastep comprising seven persons. Several troops from a specified area city district, village or town formed a district Hufike, which in turn formed part of a region Koriju literally, a banner or standard. During World War Roman II, the several units were referred to by their own code names, Banner, Koriju, Ul, Beehive, Beehive, Hive, Beehive, District, Hufike, Raj, 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 Swarm, Troop, 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 Rosina. Rodzina, family, squads and step PSECs only bees, the headquarters of the gray ranks were codenamed Biyard Pasiaka, headed by the commander Naxalit. The gray ranks successive commanders were Florian Marcini, 27 September 1939, 6 May 1943, Stanislaw Broniuski Orsa, 12 May 1943, 3 October 1944. Leon Marsalek, 3 October 1944, 18 January 1945, at the apogee of the Grey Ranks Strength Headquarters, commanded 20 banners. To control the movement, the area of pro war Poland was divided into departments, each supervising several banners. Western Department Wydziel Zakadny, see areas annexed by Nazi Germany. Pomeranian banner Alina Beehive Line. Greater Polish Ul PR Zemyslaw Beehive PR Zemyslaw Lodz Ul Kameny Beehive Chimneys Saglevy Ul Barbara Beehive Barbara Silesian Ul Huta Beehive Steel Mill An additional banner was formed in the general government and commanded all the scouts from Greater Poland expelled from their homes by the Germans Ul Krabri Beehive Krabri Eastern Department Widziel W. Skodny W. Eastern Voivodeships of Poland Bialystok Ol Bialy Beehive White, Wilno Ol Brahma Beehive Gate, Polsi Ol Bloda Beehive Marshes, Noogrodok Ol Lost Beehive Forest, Wallen Ol Gleba Beehive Soil An additional banner was formed for scouts expelled from their homes to the general government Ol Zloty Gold Beehive. Central Poland Department Wydziel Polski Central Nedge C, Central Nedge C, Edge C, Edge C edge C. The central edge C. Or saw all Whistler Beehive Vistula. Masovian all Pusks of Beehive Wilderness. Radom all Rady Beehive Councils. Lublin all Zebos Beehive Grain. Southern Poland Department Wydziel Polski Polodnio Edge. P edge. P edge. P. P edge. P. Polodnio Edge. P edge. P edge. P edge. P. Polski Polodnio Edge. P. Edge. P. Edge. P. O. Edge. P. Polodnio Edge. Heels all Scala Beehive Rock. Chestachow all Warta Beehive Warta. Krakow all Smuck Beehive Dragon. Elwau all Lu Beehive Lion Coordination among the departments and beehives was directed by inspectors subordinate to the headquarters Eugenius Stasiki, Edward Zern, and Casimir's Grenda. Ranks by age. As of 1 May 1944, the Grey ranks numbered 8,359 members. Initially, only older scouts, senior scouts, senior guides, rovers, and rangers aged 17 and up were admitted. Soon, however, younger children were admitted, and in 1942, a new structure was adopted based largely on the pre-war structure of the Polish Scouting Association. Zawisa Zawisa plural Zawisasi was a group of the youngest scouts of the Sare Seregi. Troops organized for children between 12 and 14 years of age were codenamed Zawis. The troops did not take part in active resistance. Instead, 
the children were prepared for auxiliary service for the upcoming all-national uprising and taught in secret schools for their future duties in liberated Poland. Among the best-known auxiliary troops formed by the Zawizasi was the Scouting Postal Service organized during the Warsaw Uprising. Combat Schools The combat schools Bajau Asikoli comprised youngsters aged 15 to 17. They took part in small sabotage operations. These included propaganda operations directed at the Poles, German civilians, and German military units. The best known operations were er, er, operations were Operation Wawapamayari, a major propaganda campaign, which included painting patriotic and anti German slogans on walls, see also Kotwika, distribution of leaflets, posters, stickers, and fake issues of supposed German newspapers, intercepting German propaganda megaphones, and using them to spread Polish propaganda, destroying German. Probably the best-known action was the removal of a German language plaque that had been attached by the Germans to the Nikolaus Copernicus monument in Warsaw, claiming the astronomer for the German nation. Operation and the distribution of propaganda newspapers and leaflets among German soldiers stationed in Poland. Operation was why we had in format of Sarich Saragal Grey Ranks Intelligence and Operation on behalf of Home Army Intelligence, in which combat schools groups carried out surveillance of German military units and their movements. The information that was gathered was passed on to the Allies. The operation provided the Allies with complete lists of German units, their insignia and approximate complements, including units down to battalion size. Other famous operations included marking street lamps as nerf for Deutsch only for Germans, implying that those who hang people would themselves be hanged from street lamps. Other operations occurred after the Germans began destroying monuments to Polish national heroes and historical personalities. These included a monument to Jan Kilinski, leader of an 18th century Warsaw uprising against the Russians during the Kosciuszko uprising. The Germans dismantled the monument and placed it in the cellars of the former National Museum for delivery to a German steel mill. The scouts were notified of where the monument was hidden and overnight marked the walls of the former museum. People of Warsaw, I am here, Kilinski. As part of their secret training, the combat school's boys and girls prepared for service with the Home Army as members of commander's troops, communication units, and reconnaissance units. During the Warsaw Uprising, combat schools units in Warsaw's downtown district formed a company. In other districts, they formed platoons. Assault Groups The assault groups Gruppi S.C. Termo, comprising youngsters aged 17 and up. The groups trained at secret NCO schools and officer schools for commanders of motorized and engineering units. Most members also studied at underground universities, to gain the knowledge necessary to reconstruct Poland after the war. The best known in CO schools included Warsaw's Agricola. The assault groups took part in major sabotage, including armed struggle against the occupiers. The assault groups formed the backbone of the Home Army's special troops. They liberated prisoners from German prisons and transports, blew up railroad bridges, carried out executions ordered by special courts, and fought pitched battles against German forces. The assault groups in Warsaw were organized into several battalions, including the famous Basta, Saska, Parasol, and Wigri, which later took part in the Warsaw Uprising and were among the most notable and successful units on the Polish side. Other units, mainly in the Radom Kiels area, joined the partisan units operating in the forests of the Swiatikaziski Mountains. Assault Group Operations Notable assault group operations included Operation Arsenal March 26, 1943 The liberation of the gravely wounded Jan Beitnar and 24 other prisoners from a Gestapo convoy Convoy Operation Schultz May 6, 1943 The assassination of SS Obersturmfuhrer Herbert Schultz Operation Lange May 22, 1943 the assassination of SS Rottenfuhrer Yuld Lange, Operation Belt, August 1943, February 1944, 
the destruction of 13 German border outposts. Outposts, 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 posts, outposts, 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 outposts. Operation Burkel, September 7, 1943. The assassination of SS Oberstscharfuhr of France, Burkel. Operation Kutcher of February 2, 1944. The assassination of SS and police leader Franz Kutcher, Rurs Kutcher, Rurs Kutcher, Rurs Kutcher, Rurs Kutcher. Storming and liberation of Gizioka concentration camp in Warsaw, August 5, 1944.